One of the most famous attractions in the United States is found in the Black Hills of South Dakota. It is an enormous sculpture of the heads of four American presidents carved into the rock of Mount Rushmore. Here we see the likenesses of presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. Less known, perhaps, is another sculpture, 17 miles away from there, a work in progress begun in 1948, which, if completed, will be the largest mountain carving in the world. This one depicts depicts not a president, but an American leader of a completely different kind and one of my personal favorites, the Lakota Indian chief, Crazy Horse. Known as an incredibly brave warrior, Crazy Horse was far more of a mystic, a man of the spirit, a man of tremendous wisdom. As he led his band of warriors into the famous Battle of Little Bighorn on June 25, 1876, he called out to them his most famous words, Hoka Hey! It is a good day to die. This was no mere encouragement to be brave in battle. This was the expression of a profound understanding of life coming from the spirituality and wisdom of his Native American ancestors. They understood so well that a full life does not consist of long years necessarily, but rather the completion of a spiritual circle, however big or however small that circle may be. They understood that that circle cannot be measured or judged in terms of length, for a circle has no length. No, no matter its size, a circle is eternal. They understood what every child picking up a pencil and learning to draw understands, that a circle by definition can have no end, that finishing a circle does not bring it to an end, but brings it rather to completion. They understood death because they were intensely connected to life and its circle, intensely connected to each other, to the soul, to the universe. They understood trust in God, preparedness, and peaceful acceptance. They understood that when the circle is complete, every day is a good day to die. For Jesus, the circle of life was complete after 33 years on earth. For others, it is complete in 103 years and for others in thirty-three days. Each is able to announce, as he did, it is finished, it is complete, it is a good day to die. Into your hands I commend the perfect circle of my life. Many in the modern world of gadgets and distractions are terrified of death simply because their connection with life is so superficial. Another wise American, Mark Twain, astutely observed, The fear of death follows from the fear of life. Anyone who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. What is a good day to die? For some, it is never today, but always tomorrow. For others, even some superstitious Catholic followers of certain popular modern devotions, it ought to be on a particular day or even at a certain lucky hour. For still others, the circle should never come to completion, so greatly do they fear anything beyond the material world of flesh and blood. 
Why do we insist on fearing the one thing we were born to do? The one thing that can possibly bring sense and completion to our life. I remember the words of another great Indian, Takatoka, who said, I do not think I have ever feared death, just as the water of life is not distressed by its many changes from liquid to solid to vapor in the eternal circle. I am not afraid of my body changing into spirit. The Christ did not wish for the cross, but he embraced it, saying, Now my soul is deeply troubled. Should I pray, Father, save me from this hour? But this is the very reason I came. Not a bad prayer for all of us. With Crazy Horse with the crucified Christ, with all people of the Spirit, we can say, Hoka hey! It is a good day to die because it has been a good day to live.